All right. I am here with three beautiful ladies, of course, from Zimbabwe, USA, and Puerto Rico. Hi, ladies. Good morning. How are you? How are you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. Miss USA, how do you find the Philippines so far? It's absolutely beautiful, and I've never met warm, welcoming, and heartwarming people. I'm absolutely thrilled to be here. What do you think is the most special part about being here in Manila? I am actually excited to go to the beaches. I cannot wait. I'm such a beach girl. I'm from Florida in the States, so I'm absolutely excited to see the beaches here. All right. Among the pretty ladies out here, who do you think is your greatest competitor? Oh, well, all of these women are absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> So any of them deserve the title and they're all fantastic, so whoever wins, we'll all be proud of. Miss Puerto Rico, aside from yourself, who do you think is the most beautiful lady here? Well, to be honest, there's more competitive delegates than I thought. Everyone is a winner already. We are beauty queens in our, queen, in our country, but besides that, we are spokespersons and that was matters the most. So already we are all winners and whoever takes one crown, that is just a symbol. We came here to have a purpose and I think we are doing it right. Ms. Zimbabwe, they all say that black beauty is very in right now, of course, because of Miss Angola. What do you think about that? Do you have big chances of you winning this year? Like all the other delegates have said, you know, we all have equal opportunity and black is beautiful and I'm proud to be Zimbabwean and African. Um, I think that Miss Angola winning definitely has opened up doors for the rest of us and the world is paying attention to the African delegates. They want to know what we have to bring and I think all the African girls are doing such a great job and I'm very proud to be representing a significant part of the world such as Zimbabwe. Wow. Thank you so much ladies, USA, Zimbabwe and Puerto Rico. Thank you.